Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I bought a 1960s Vietnam era military bag stuffed with uniforms and clothes from somebody who was in the military at that time. And I'm going to show you guys everything that's inside. I've only seen the top two items. And I think I paid 60 bucks for it, maybe 40 um, either way, I think it was a great deal, and we're going to see everything that was inside. So let's do it. So here's the bag. You can see it's got all sorts of markings and writings. Just so much history packed into this thing. Even with just the bag, it's pretty pretty huge. There's my hand for reference. Six down, six to go. Dock boots. Uh, I believe somewhere on here there is a... Yeah, there's a... I think that's a year. 1968. There might be an actual better year. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a year. We've got Marines written on there. First Engineers. Oh, yeah, Homeward Bound, June 1969. So this bag is just full of history. It's super cool. Let's get right into it. So the thing that is on top that I already have seen, I believe it's a like a pea coat, but it is very very beautiful. Um, there's the tag. Might be hard to see. I'm gonna try to use the light box so you guys can see everything really well. But the buttons on it are awesome. They're plastic, but very cool buttons. Intricate design. I think it's a navy, but yeah, just a really, really cool coat. <laughs> awesome piece. So much history packed into this stuff. Something that I'm definitely uh, growing to appreciate more and more. This thing, look at this. It's. It's like a kind of a torn up, stained navy 150 pound football like sweater. It's kind of got pads on the elbows, like that's been like sewn in. Just really cool by Champion Knitwear. Size medium. So, I mean, you can tell that football was played in this thing for sure but very cool. I'm still debating whether to sell everything individually or separate. I might just post the video before I list and see what you guys think. Um, if you have any suggestions. Uh, there's This is a uh, the whites. Let's see. I don't know all the exact terms for what the rest of the stuff is going to be. I haven't seen any of it. But it's got a really cool patch. Um, let me know if you know what that patch is. It might be obvious to some of you, but to me it's not. So, any education or anything that you know in the comments below would be super helpful. I mean, there's some definite stains on, on this one. Um, but still, pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got. This kind of just looks like... Eh, it's just, still got a patch on it. Like the blue uh, dress shirt. Um, obviously everything's pretty wrinkled because it's stuffed in there. But yeah, this is kind of like a button-up cotton. Dress shirt there. So that's pretty cool. 
But there's still a bunch more stuff in here. So we got another one of those. Let's see if it's got the patch. Yep, there's the patch. And then let's see what the tag says or if there's a tag on the collar. Doesn't look like, yeah, there's some numbers, but not like a company or anything. So, pretty cool. Okay, these are nice. I really like that patch. And this is Davis Clothing Company. These are, what, 16 by 34? Oh, okay, it's a shirt. I thought they were pants. <laughs> so that's another button up, black. It's got care instructions on there. So that's pretty awesome. And it just keeps coming. So this one is a little more heavy. Um, the material. They've all got the same patch on them so far. It's got, let's see, let's see what we're working with here. This is, what does that say? Jumper, maybe it says jumper. Man's blue dress, 100% wool. Yeah, so that explains it being a lot heavier pretty cool piece. Um, I'm gonna have to look up a lot of it just to see value. I know the peak out probably is gonna be about the money back but that's the only thing I've looked up so far. This is another there's the patch with the logo. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's a jacket or a sweatshirt it says jumper man's blue undress let's see if it has a year or anything size 40 it's got the name on there kind of faded so hard to read but pretty cool um, I bought this from Rob who I bought his entire eBay inventory. This was one of the items uh, that he sold me. There's another one of these blue shirts. Uh, and he picked it up at a garage sale. I believe it was, you know, the family. Uh, they just were ready to, to get rid of it. Have it go to another home. Looks like Brooks, maybe? No, maybe that just says boots. CK boots so I don't know if that's a name because boots is written on the bag too there's the tag there nice little military green there's still more to go that's for sure looks like we just got another one of those with some pants it says boots once again. There's the pants. Heavy duty. Alright, and there's the hat. So it's making me think the name is Boots. Because it's written on there too. That's kind of stained and whatnot. More green. Another pair of pants. <laughs> Let me know if this was the norm for amount of stuff. Definitely a lot of various uniforms and things to wear for... But it makes sense. Another one of these kind of like... Uh, I don't know what you would call it. Like some sort of jacket. It's got that. Very cool. I like this one. This is the second one of these, I think. So far. 
Let's see, still got more. So this is kind of a nice pair of pants here. Different material, pretty heavy. I'm not sure if it'll tell us. Let's see. So yeah, 31, 34, and they are wool. So that might be matching jeans with the other wool. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see if we can get everything else. So this looks like another pair of pants. Lots of cool buttons. Boots CK. So there's those. And I'm going to dump everything else out. I'll stop the video and come right back in. So here's everything else. Got a couple more shirts, jackets, and a few more pairs of pants. All blue. So man, that bag was stuffed full. Hopefully there's some, some good value here. Um, if you guys have any experience with this kind of stuff, let me know how you would sell it. Uh, if you would lot it up all together, break it up by certain bundles. Just let me know in the comments below. Any information would be helpful, and I would appreciate it. So quick update. I got this one listed, and it appears to be pretty special. Um, I looked up the comps for this Champion Knitwear Co. And it appears to be a pretty sought after sweater maker. This thing is disgusting. <laughs> um, but at the same time it's really cool because it's got history. And you can see it on the sweater. But I put a listing up $200 or best offer. Within two minutes got an offer of 75 so I'm like okay. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then within 20 minutes got an offer of 150 a different person so I said okay this thing could be special um, so I'm gonna put it to auction so I just uh, did a seven-day auction uh, started the bid at 150 bucks which is the offer that I got and hopefully you know it'll get a, at least one bid I'd be stoked with 75 even for this thing, but I know I can get at least 150, and it could be one of those things that gets a bidding war and goes up. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. This video will likely come out after that auction ends, so I will uh, update when it ends. Hey guys, so I am back with an update on the sweater. It sold. So. Initially, I put it up for buy it now for $200. I got an offer within 5 minutes of 75 within 20 minutes of 150 And to me, that said, okay, this is something special. I'm going to take it down, put it up as an auction, start the bid at 150 do 7 days, see what happens. I did that, got like 15 watchers, but surprisingly, no bids. Uh, I was kind of shocked by that because it really seemed like it was going to go up in bid. Either way, I did not have very much into this sweater. I relisted it again for 200 or buy or best offer. Got an offer of $145, declined a couple at 100, and it sold. So you can see I had $200 best offer. It sold to Japan, and I had to send an invoice shipping of $35. Kind of did calculated, looked like it was going to come to around 30. So I Factor it up a little bit just in case it ends up being a little more. Don't want to lose out on shipping. And they just paid on February 4th, which is today as I'm recording this. Um, it took about a week and a half to sell it because the auction went, it didn't sell, and then another three or four days for it to get a $145 offer, which I am happy to get. Paid $60 for the entire bag. Nothing else has sold yet, but it is all listed. So if you're interested in any of it, go ahead and check out my eBay store. Message me on Facebook. Let me know if you're interested. I'll give you 20% off and end the listing. But you got to message on Facebook, not through eBay, if you want something. But yeah, pretty awesome sale. Um, very, very interesting sweater. 
with the uh, champion knitwear or whatever it says yeah champion knitwear kind of crazy you can look up comps on this company but this thing was nasty and worn um, but that added to the history of it and Japan is definitely a popular place for vintage clothing items especially like the Levi jeans and that type of thing so it makes sense that I went to Japan and I'm gonna get it shipped out so that's it for today's episode it was a lot of fun to make and to go through and unbag that Vietnam thing with you guys uh, hopefully you had fun and enjoyed the episode and learned something so smash that like button uh, it really helps and I really appreciate it when you guys do that if you like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Chase after the right, right.